Hey, what's up everybody? This is Fanta. Today we're going to be taking a look at Talon, the Blade Shadow. Talon is an extremely strong assassin who relies on his abilities to put out a huge amount of damage in a short amount of time. First, let's take a look at Talon's abilities so you can know what each of them do and how to use them together to deal the most damage as fast as possible. Talon's passive increases all damage dealt by 10% if the enemy he hits is slowed, stunned, or immobilized in any way. Talon's Q is an on-hit effect spell that deals extra damage and makes the enemy champion bleed, dealing damage over time. Talon's W is a cone-shaped slow that will send blades out and then bring them back, slowing and dealing damage both ways. Talon's E allows him to quickly jump to his opponent, silencing them and making Talon deal more damage for the next few seconds. Talon's ultimate releases a ring of blades that deal damage and render Talon invisible. Talon is free to move and after a few seconds the rings will come back to Talon, dealing damage to all enemies that they hit on their way back to Talon. However, the rings can be activated to come back to Talon before their timer ends. For masteries, I like to take 2109, making sure to take Improved Ghost. For runes, I take Armor Penetration Marks, Armor Seals, Attack Speed or Cooldown Reduction Glyphs, and Flat Health Quints. Alright, so let's get into the gameplay. Um, here I am starting off on top lane, um, as Talon of course, with Kogma as my lane partner. I am against a Riven and a LeBlanc. Um, I just want to point out, Kogma is not too great of a lane partner, but it was alright because we were against two squishy, so we easily could kill them. Um, as you can see on the screen, Talon lanes well with anyone with a stun, in my opinion, that is ranged, therefore he can get off his passive and do the extra damage, and also be able to jump that jump to them while they're stunned, doing the extra damage from Cutthroat. So, Talon is strong against squishy champions early game, or all game really, of course, he is an assassin, so his role is to kill those squishies and he's very good at that. Late game, if built right, and if you want to build that way, you can kill tanks, but your main role is to kill squishies, so that's not really necessary. Real quick, this is the skill order on the screen. Um, for levels one through four, you want to get, um, this is just my opinion, either Rake or Cutthroat to start. If you get, I mean not Cutthroat, um, your Q. You get Q first, and then you get W, and then either another level in Q or a level in Cutthroat. And then at level 6, get your ultimate um, maxing like you saw on the screen. So if you follow that, you should be fine. Of course, you can switch that up to however you feel is necessary once you uh, get good with Talon. Um, early game, Talon's harassment is very good. He can easily harass enemies using Cutthroat and then with a Q proc to get that um, extra damage and have them silenced. Mm -hmm. Uh, for, I believe, one second at level one. So that works out very well. And then Rake can be used to slow and actually does quite a bit of damage, especially if you have a few levels in it early in the game. As you can see right here, jump on LeBlanc with Cutthroat, throw a Rake right as I'm getting away, and Kogma finishes her off. So, keeps the slow on her, and then Kogma, my lane partner, can finish it off. That's one good part about Rake, is it slows so your teammate can get more attacks off, and it, um, it will deal damage both ways and slow both ways, so it's actually quite a long slow when you figure it'll be slowing when it comes back and just starting when the spell gets back in it. So here I'm getting attacked and I get in the bush for here, I'm gonna die anyway, so I decided to jump on Ribbon and get the kill there. She exhausts me and I die to the tower. And Kogma's e easily able to hold the lane against LeBlanc. So we have our lane pretty much completely secure there behind in minions and levels a little bit. Um, but we weren't XP blocking, but we are very farmed compared to them not being farmed almost at all. So this is just to show Talon's um, tower diving. I put my bleed onto LeBlanc and then throw a rake as I'm leaving and the bleed finishes her off. Uh, Talon is a very strong turret diver just because of Cutthroat being able to get in and silence them so they can't stun you instantly on the tower and bleed and ignite allowing you to run earlier and still get the kill. As you can see right here, LeBlanc double flashes and then decides to turn around for a triple flash and I finish her off with my ult when I'm out of range. And then uh, Ribbon does of course pick me off. She somehow finds me of course because of hacks. So we're back in top lane in uh, 2v1 right now. Um, going to dive on LeBlanc. And hit her with a Q, pretty much getting down a half health and then finishing her off with my ultimate when she goes invisible. Using your ultimate in that way is very good to um, finish people off. And as you can see, I run, ran in front of her when I ulted, so all the blades when they came back to me we hit her and we go back in and kill Ruben. Um, she exhausts me and I still get away after three tower hits, so. And then we get the tower. Um, now that our tower's down, I can head mid. I saw LeBlanc coming up river, so I go down. 
Um, she's pretty much trapped, no way to get out except running towards our base, which she decides not to do, and she dies. Um, Cyan finishes her off with a stun. And then we can easily push mid tower. So, this is a very good early game with Talon. The one problem they had is this was a blind pick, so they could not counter me. And this was not, this was a solo queue, so they were not well organized. They did not have a tank. They had a lot of squishies, which makes it very easy for Talon to kill pretty much everyone on their team. Um, once I have my core items, just a Yuma's Ghost Blade and such, I can pretty much kill them all. And as you can see, here's a 2v1 Ignite Nidalee as she's running with the bleed still on her. And Pop Yuma's Ghost Blade to fight the Blanc. I hit the wrong one and then just finish her off with a rank and a crit. So there's an easy 2v1 once I am farmed up and fed pretty well. Um, but that's just to show Talon's strength against the squishies. Um, blue on Talon is pretty good if no one else on your team needs it too badly. Um, it allows you to spam rake more constantly, uh, harassing your enemies and doing a little bit of poking. So here we go, get into the base. As you can see, rake pretty much just half health Sivir. And then I use my ultimate run in front of her so all the blades hit her. And then it looks like we might get in the lead, but we're not going to get her, so we go to get out. But unfortunately, Vayne flashes out and I do not have flash. On the razor's edge. Anyway, let's uh, take a look at the items. I like to start off with a Doran's Blade. This gives me the health and everything I need. And then uh, my first trip back, I go and get Boots of Speed and then quickly get a Yuma's Ghost Blade and then Boots of Swiftness shortly after, as soon as I can. Um, after that, you have a choice. Um, you can either get Infinity Edge or maybe a Frozen Mallet. It's a very strong item on hand if you're too squishy or a Phantom Dancer is also very good. So uh, you can get any of those. They are all very good items. And after that, you can pretty much just choose what items you want to get. It doesn't make too big of a difference. So, um, that's pretty much up to you. You can figure that out after, after you get used to Talon. Um, right here, just, just to show how Talon can get away easily with his all while finishing the person off of the all, and then using Rake to slow, and Yuma's Ghost Blade to get away, while keeping Ribbon slowed, who has a bunch of jumps. Um, keeping your slowed easily with rake. So at this point in the game, I'm pretty fed, and I have a lot of minion kills very far but my items are very good. I didn't, I didn't even need to get a frozen mallet this game because I, they weren't doing anything to me because I could kill their squishy so fast, and they had no real tank to really stop me or do anything, so we're able to pull off an easy win. Thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, sorry about um, during the gameplay. I was pretty quiet. I recorded this at like 2 in the morning. Um, so I was uh, pretty quiet there. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about Talon. Um, he's a very fun champion to play. I hope you guys uh, learned something about him from this, if you haven't played him before, or if this helped you decide if you want to get him or not. Um, so uh, just like I said, message me on YouTube or in a uh, game if you have any questions. Feel free to add me on League of Legends. Um, so thanks for watching this, guys, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this guide, please subscribe for more League of Legends videos.